Now, two developments tonight following the murder of a Riverside County Sheriff's deputy. Body worn video has been released of a furious gun battle with the man who killed the deputy, and calls are growing louder for a judge involved in the case to step down. KCAL News reporter Nicole Comstock is live in Chino with more information about this case. Nicole? Well, Pat, the city of Chino is taking this stand against the court releasing violent criminals back out into the public in hopes that this will create a movement to change the way things are going here in the state of California. Now, we do want to warn you that the video you're about to watch is very disturbing. <laughs> Going down in a hail of gunfire. Body camera video just released shows sheriff's deputies in a gun battle with a convicted felon named William Shea McKay. That was back in December, right after he shot and killed Riverside County motorcycle deputy Isaiah Cordero in Harupa Valley. South fire, south fire. McKay led law enforcement on a chase that day across multiple Inland Empire freeways, firing at the deputies. He died during that shootout. And the Chino City Council thinks keeping McKay off the streets should not have taken all of this. Kara Hudson, the San Bernardino County Superior Court judge presiding over this case, demonstrated a lack of discernment and negligence in granting this violent individual bail. The mayor of Chino speaking out at a council meeting, saying Judge Kara Hudson's 2021 ruling to lower McKay's bail on kidnapping and robbery charges gave him no incentive to return to court for sentencing. And given his violent criminal history, she says he was clearly a danger to law enforcement and the public. The city council believes this judge should resign from her position. Others have called on Judge Hudson's resignation as well, including Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco. We must speak up and demand better from our politicians and our judges. And Isaiah Cordero's grieving mother. Judge Cara Hudson, my son was a good man. And it's passed unanimously. The Chino City Council just voted to send letters to state senators and the San Bernardino County Superior Court, calling for Hudson to be removed from her criminal court responsibilities. The court responded to us about the letters in writing, saying the court does not have a position on the council's action taken Tuesday. However, neither the presiding judge nor any other judge has authority to review, alter, or modify rulings or decisions of another judicial officer. Well, the National Police Association has also started an online petition demanding that this judge resign. And so far, it has collected over 10,000 signatures. Reporting live in Chino, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News.